normally a drug from the discovery to patient and take average 12 years and cost average a billion dollar or more uh, during the process. It's very expensive and time consuming and we would like to provide some a new platform to accelerate this process. In 2012, we at the University of Michigan established a, a center for advanced animal model for translational science and therapeutics. We, we call this Center Camp Trust. The goal of the Camp Trust is accelerate the research from the bench side to the bed side. I'm a human geneticist. And in my laboratory, we try to understand the genetic basis of cardiovascular disease. And of course, for obvious reasons, we can't really manipulate what genetic variation gets passed on to the next generation. And that's where animal models become extremely important because we can change the genetic background at a specific point that we've observed in humans and then identify the downstream phenotypes that result from that genetic change. So it allows us to pinpoint and disentangle um, really the complexities of what we observe in human genetics. And that's where it's been uh, really uh, wonderful both uh, academically but also in terms of being able to act very quickly on new findings in our lab is through collaboration with Dr. Eugene Chen's lab. So we have uh, joint lab meetings once a month where uh, my postdoctoral fellows meet with his postdoctoral fellows and together we decide uh, what are the most important findings to follow up. And that accelerates the pace of science. This is a very, very unique setting. In this facility, you got physician scientists tell us what the real clinical problems are. And we got created the animal models for them. So I think it's very unique. We have this contrast center right here in University of Michigan. I have been producing gene-targeted transgenic rabbits, so-called, we refer to that as knockout, knock-in rabbits, for over 15 years. It is until about the year 2009 when the first zinc finger nucleus came out. That's the time that we start to get successful. And then after that, we have version 2, Talon, and then the third version, CRISPR-Cas9, which I believe is a revolutionary tool for the entire biotechnology field, but especially for us, for creating knockout, knocking rabbit models. So we immediately pick up this and trying to make so-called CETP knockout rabbits. CETP is a gene that's not in the mouse genome. So mouse does not have CETP gene where rabbits has. So it makes rabbit a perfect model species that to test this concept, whether or not CTP is a good drug target. And we successfully created CTP knockout rabbits, and we did show genetic deficiency of CTP. It's protective to atherosclerosis. So I think this adds some confidence to the drug companies who want to develop CTP inhibitors. CAMTRAST is a great example of world-class researchers that is looking at the same end goal, but they are developing several models. And rabbits are really excellent models. It's a better opportunity to be able to collect, let's say, um, blood draws, multiple blood draws over time. That's easier to do with a rabbit than it is with a mouse because of pure size. ULAM is um, the University of Michigan Unit for Laboratory Animal Medicine. Uh, we form collaborations both from the veterinary and the research side, so we assist um, CAMTRAST in the fact with their housing needs and forecasting um, the needs for the animals, including veterinary care, and also any assistance with specialized uh, production, um, reproductive technology procedures if needed. I think we are at the right time where all the technologies come together that enabling this uh, novel species animal models for biomedical research. So it's a new door that's opening to all biomedical researchers that we have this new model system available. Come Trust are happy to provide knockout and knock-in rabbits to research at academic institute and pharmaceutical company that engage in translational research and drug development. 
And even we can look beyond the rabbits. It's not only rabbits. With current technologies, we can create pig models. We can create sheep models. So we got to pick whatever model that is best for the translational research, not limited by whatever model that we can make. We're finding so many new things almost every day right now. Um, genetic variants associated with disease, but understanding how they work, how they impact biology, is much more challenging and will take longer. And it's really, really important that we collaborate with people who can explore these results in, um, in animal models to try and understand what they mean and how they function. It's, it's really important.